turning point is in a few weeks time and they actually have made a f bunch of matches already made for this amazing card so one of them has not been fully announced yet but we know it's going to happen we'll get that in a little bit but to be honest the thing with TNA right now I I, I like some of it but some of it I don't um one of them is the mass and rain thing with Tara with Tara and Tara should still be the knockouts champion in my mind but she laid down for Mass and Rain on a re recent Impact a few weeks ago, and she became the Knockouts Champion. It was just ridiculous. But Turning Point has a lot of matches, and we'll just go through them as quickly as possible. The first matchup: Jeff Jarrett versus Samoa Joe. Now, Jeff Jarrett and Samoa Joe haven't had really that much of a feud other than the fact that last month on Bound for Glory 10 10 10 Jeff Jarrett walked out on Samoa Joe and Jeff Jarrett joined Immortal. Now over the past few weeks Jeff Jarrett took care of Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe which led up to this matchup. Now to be honest I, I gotta go with Samoa Joe because for one I don't think we've ever seen Joe versus Jarrett before. And Jarrett, being the consummate veteran, will have his tricks and stuff. But Joe is that Samoan house of fire that will just destroy him. And he with an X Division title will be on the line as Jay Lethal will face Robbie E, accompanied probably by Cookie. Now, I gotta go with Robbie E, just because, you know, Lethal's held the X-Vision title for a lot of times. Probably his fifth or so reign or something like that. And Robbie E might uh, might have a height advantage as well as a weight advantage a little bit. You never know with these things. But at the same time, Cookie's gonna be at ringside probably, and that will have an advantage Robbie E also. So you gotta go with the shore for this matchup. It will be Fortune versus EV 2.0. And we all, we know that one person will not be in this matchup is Matt Morgan, who was kicked out of Fortune last night. So, you know, with the things going on with EV 2.0 right now with EV 2 and Rob Van Dam, they're going to be a little dysfunctional. And you got to go with Fortune because Fortune is a little bit, is a lot more of the same mind. They are focused. They are ready to go, and EV2 is kind of out of the blocks right there. It's trying to get a little starting, getting out of the starting blocks, and starting this thing with Rob Van Dam is going to have personal problems as well. Now we mentioned earlier with Tara situation, Tara in my mind should still be the Knockouts champion, but Tara will face Mickey James, and this will this is obviously a. Uh, a step to where Mickey it won't be Mickey James versus Madison Rain for the title at this pay per view, but we'll see it probably at the next pay per view. This matchup has happened many times in the past, and I gotta go with Mickey James with on this one just because you know it can go either way. But the fact that Madison may or may not be at ringside, and who really cares about Madison? Mickey James has the edge. The World Tag Team Titles are on the line in Team 3D's last matchup ever. It will be Team 3D versus the Motion Machine Guns. If Team 3D wins, they will retire as the as the Lord knows how many times Tag Team Champions. And if the Motion Machine Guns win, they'll have the feather in their cap of retiring the most legendary tag team of all time, if not one of the legendary tag teams. Because there's a bunch of them, like Lee, LOD. I mean, you know, just look at your tight end history, and there's a lot of them. I gotta go with Team 3D, though, because in these situations where the person will retire, they obviously, this happened with Trish Stratus a while back. Trish Stratus would retire as women's champion. And Team 3D might do the same thing. Especially since they, again, they have a huge weight advantage and that experience factor. I have like 15 or so plus years in the business. You gotta go with Team 3D. 
And the final match so far, they'll probably add a lot more next week, will be the TNA World title on the line. Jeff Hardy, probably be his first time in the ring since, in a match, I should say, since winning the world title, will face an injured Mr. Anderson. Now, you kind of saw what he could do in that uh, X, you know, Ultimate X match a few weeks, like two weeks ago. And Mr. Anderson, you know, he has a concussion. And he also has a few, you know, things on his arm. He has an arm injury. And that, and depending on how that recovers before the pay-per-view, um, you know, the, uh, the advantage obviously goes to Jeff Hardy. Because, first of all, you got an injured Mr. Anderson, which, in a way, you know, that's not good. For Anderson. Also, that concussion may have a factor uh, with Randy Orton a few years back when he had a concussion storyline. It may not be an actual concussion. But concussions, like what he said yesterday, are very serious. Just like they are in the NFL. Just like they are in any contact sport. So you gotta give the edge, you know, already to Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy might win this match just because of the... He might take advantage of the concussion.